Hello everybody and welcome back to the next video. This time we're gonna talk about warding spots on the laning stage and in the entire game in the patch 7.33b. First of all, before I'm gonna start the video, I wanna talk with you guys about wards specifically. It's a very dynamic point in Dora. It can always change. People have different opinions. So if I make a mistake or if you have a different opinion, that's fine. I'm just gonna give you some ideas what I think what is good right now and what can work in your public games. I'm not talking about competitive or anything specific just the best warding spots in pubs right now all right let's start with the lanes in my opinion like right now people are still buying wards in the mid lane for some reason and i don't think it's actually good in my opinion you should get both wards on the side lanes you should get wards off so you will not get ganked by the rotations with the portal like this is like the common thing right now in pubs people are just abusing the portals and they're ganking the side lanes. How you can prevent that is with like two warding spots. The first warding spot is at the lotuses. It looks kind of strange, but this is like one good ward in my opinion that people are not really dewarding as well, and that will actually spot a lot of vision what the enemies is doing, uh, what the enemies are doing. Like as you can see, you literally see the entire area here. You see the rotations between this uh, this way, this way, and on the top one. And if you want, you can place it over there, so you can also look right here into the path as well a little bit but it's up to you but i think if it stands on the lotus's thing it's not getting the water and people are never never expecting this all right number two for the laning stage is definitely this ward why because you want to see people are ganking you plus if you are playing dire people are not usually ganking this way they will they will go here and they're gonna move like this way either they're gonna go come up here where my hero stands right now or they're gonna go this way that basically means they're not gonna like take this path here so in my opinion, like this ward is great. Don't even take the watcher, just place the ward. It is very good so you can see all the rotations from the enemies on when you play Dio, of course, and you can actually prevent them to kill you. On Radiant, it's a bit different. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you that right now. Alright, on Radiant, it's a bit different, as I said. In my opinion, people are not really going like this way sometimes, but usually they go this path right here. Because it's right behind the tower, of course. So in my opinion, the best ward for that is actually here right on the outpost just place it and you can see the path here please avoid placing wards on the portal it is very bad people will always be warded and people are expecting it as well like just don't do it it is not good like i see so many wards on the portals they are only good if you place them to end the phantom if you just place them for vision it is not good so please try to not do that place them around the portals so you can see the rotations and you feel safe the next point on my list is definitely the minute seven experience if you play dia and you want to prevent the enemy to steal your rune you should place this ward right here and if you want to be a tryhard, you can even cut this tree. Like as you can see, you see everything. The bridge here, if people are crossing it, you see the left side a little bit. If people are like moving here, you see everything. That basically means you are defending your XP rune and you can see them. If they do it, you can just go there as well or you steal the enemy rune. Same situation if you play Radiant. I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, I'm on Radiant. Legit the same warding spot. Um, you see the bridge? You can even cut the trees over there if you want to, it's up to you. But you just prevent the enemies from stealing your experience. And the best minute for this ward, in my opinion, is like minute 5. So you have like 2 minutes to prepare. You see the enemies, you know what's going on. You just prevent yourself from losing a lot of experience for free. Alright, that was it with the laning wards right now, in my opinion. That's like the importance ones. Besides like the laning wards, obviously, you can place them as well. It's always up to you. But other than that, these four or five wards I just told you are the most important wards in my opinion. And they will actually make you feel safe on your lanes and prevent you from dying. The next ward I'm going to tell you about is basically after the laning stage. Like if you want to like rotate a lot around middle or you want to rotate a lot about the enemy triangle. If you play Dyer and you want to go invade this triangle here or see what's going on. You can literally just cut this tree here. And place this ward and you're gonna see like a little bit of the triangle you see the bridge you see your bridge and you see the second bridge on your side as well a little bit of the river and everything is good if you want to you can even cut this tree and you're gonna see even more like this ward is very efficient if you like want to play around this area in the current state of the game all right the next point i want to talk with you guys is actually please listen to this point stop warding cliffs or portals stop doing it it is fucking awful. If you ward cliffs, please defend them. Do not just ward them like an idiot and the enemies is just checking it and they're gonna get a free reward every fucking time. If you place these wards, defend them. 
stop placing them randomly on the cliffs i know it's hard i also like sometimes do it obviously it's just laziness but if i'm really like serious and i'm gonna try it in the game i'm never placing a ward on the cliff besides in team fights or if i know i want to play in this area in the next like 30 to like 60 seconds so please stop warding cliffs or portals people are always rewarding it always they will always check it and they will always feel there's a ward especially when they saw you like for a millisecond on this area around that the first thing they're gonna think of is the water cliff or the water portal so please do not do this it is fucking awful and it's like gonna lose you a lot of wards my next point with the wards is basically if you ward you should actually abuse the watchers i mean i mean sure you can take them and they're gonna give vision but just think about it people can take the watchers they're gonna see something around it and they're gonna feel safe it's like a reverse psychology like if people can see something with the watcher they automatically feel safe that basically means in my opinion if you ward on the watcher like this and you let the enemy take it first of all your ward is like not visible that get good <laughs> like they need to watch closer to it if they are not like watching on the screen right now they're not gonna see it plus let them take the watcher like sure they're gonna have vision but you're gonna have a ward on it and they're gonna feel safe and then now you are not there so just abuse them a lot actually i've seen it a lot on this side like right here whenever people are warding here or on the watcher it's usually not getting rewarded because people feel safe especially if they have the watcher to give them some vision so yeah watchers is actually a pretty cool thing to abuse because as i said people are feel feeling safe they will maybe not rewarded because they think like yo i have vision there i did not see anybody so i'm pretty sure the enemies were not there right so yeah as i said abuse the watchers very cool, very cool idea and often works out because people are not rewarding it usually all right the ne next point is rush fights as i said don't wa uh, don't ward the portals only if you defend them and this is actually a spot in the game where you can actually ward the portals when you play for rush like take this watcher ward this portal and somebody stays here in the trees and you're literally going to see everything. Like, all the angles, you're going to see them. Wherever the enemy is going to come, you're going to see them and you're going to have maybe an advantage. Like, the biggest disadvantage, in my opinion, this patch at Rush is basically that the entire Rush area is in the low ground. Whenever the enemy is going to come, they're going to have an advantage with the high ground on you. Like, 99% of the times. Same situation on Radiant. Take the Watcher and place, the, uh, place a ward in the portal and play on the other side of the ward like one person at least so you're gonna see all three paths and you're gonna easily spot the enemies before they come into rush next point minutes 10 to 20 or 25 position one enemies or position one players tend to farm the top area of the jungle so how you can prevent that first of all don't don't ward these cliffs it's not good people will ward it ward these areas like here here you don't get as much vision as you will get on the cliff i get that but people will not reward this and you're gonna see them you're gonna see him here you're gonna see him on this camp and you're gonna see if he's like running here around this path so like try to like use these cheeky wards like this even here this is a good ward you see him if he's like here you see if he's here and you see if he's farming these two camps so please abuse it it is very good. Next point, this is just a Dia specific thing. If you play against Dia, you can actually abuse this ward right there. Bam. It gives you a lot of high ground vision. It gives you this camp, this camp, and you can even place it over there. And you're gonna see this over there as well. So yeah, this ward is actually pretty cool. I've used it like twice in my games and it's actually a little bit of game changer because this only works in Dire, not in Radiant. So definitely keep that in mind. Whenever you play Radiant, you can actually ward this cliff. So you can see the enemy like just AFK jungling in this area. All right, the next ward spot is actually in front of the walls over there. And now it sounds, sounds a bit strange, but I'm gonna demonstrate you guys this when I don't have vision. Like, as you can see, I'm standing here. And if I'm in the smoke, I can literally ward this. And as you can see, I can see here the path. And I can see the high ground. And people will usually not expect this ward. So this is actually a really cheap ward if you go high ground. And you don't want to, like, use the classic ones. Because people will deward this. But they will not deward this. Like, the chance is way lower that they will, that they will deward this spot. Because most of the people don't even know about it. So definitely abuse that point. Plus, it also works on Radiant. Like whenever you play Dia and you go Radiant High Ground, it also works in this spot. 
Like you're gonna see this path over there, plus you're gonna see on the high ground over there. Think about it, especially when you go high ground. This is gonna be also one big point why people will start going high ground on this side, because they're gonna get the advantage of the high ground ward, if they're gonna think about it in the game, of course. All right, next cool warding spot in my opinion is this one as you can see you see actually a lot of vision on the tier 2 on the radiant side if you play dire this ward is really cool and cheeky and it's not gonna get dewarded easily like when people place a sentry over there they will not see this ward no chance like we, i can even demonstrate you guys this like most of the people are like doing this yes you can see the sentry range is not there so even this ward is very cool like it's, it has the same purpose but this what gives you like high ground vision above the trees and this is my in my opinion the like bigger point of doing it you can even cut this tree if you want to of course if you want to you can even cut this it's up to you but like cut one tree and then place it but the best thing you can do is cut all four trees because if there's like only one tree missing it's kind of obvious that there's a wall probably so think about that as well that was it for my input i'm gonna show you guys some cheeky and cool words you can place in the game that i'm not gonna like talk specific about it because it's kind of obvious that people gonna water but i'm gonna give you like better ward spots than usually people place so yeah stay tuned for the following warding spots that i'm gonna show you right now All right, that's it for the video. I know there are way more warding spots than I just showed. But as I said, the first ones I've talked about are just the warding spots that I think that are good. And I gave you guys some input about it. And the following warding spots were just like casual warding spots that people already do a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you out a little bit. And we're gonna see us in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace.